hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel again if you have not already subscribed to this channel please do subscribe it today's video is all about working with connects and sql server i've received so many requests from people who have requested and asked me to demonstrate a video where we can use connects with node.js to connect with sql server and use some database operations so stay tuned this video is all about connecting connects and sql server through node.js and we can see how we can retrieve data connect it with some parameters and configuration and so on so in order to demonstrate this concept we are already assuming that you guys have already installed sql server you can use sql server express or you can use sql server dev edition or enterprise edition or any version of the sql server on your windows machine we are also assuming that there is already an installation of node.js if you are not aware about how to install node.js on windows machine with the nvm that is the node version manager for windows you can refer to my another video on youtube channel where you can see how that particular uh, node.js can be installed or versions can be managed so here in this uh, sql server uh, i already have a database named as lovely and uh, if i see there is a table called as dpt and if i just try to run this query uh, so you can see there are four records uh, with three columns like department number department name and location and there are four records in that and in the particular node uh, if i just want to see so the node is already installed so that also looks good so what we can do is we can so what we can do now is we need two of the npm packages to actually demonstrate this and uh, the one of the packages which we need to install in this is i'll just install npm connects and i'm just going to use the latest package and i'm just going to save it or install it globally so whatever you want to do so let's say if i want to install it uh, uh, on the local uh, a dependency i'm just going to save it and it would create a node underscore module folders within that so let's do this one so this would install the connects package looks good uh, the another one which i need to install is ms sql at the rate latest and i do it uh, hyphen hyphen save so that this package also gets installed so now both of the packages are installed and now what we are going to do is we are going to write some basic code in you can choose any editor of your choice but i'm just going to use the uh, vs code to write this code to have a basic connection with the sql server through the connects with the node and how to pass on the configuration information and so on so let's just uh, uh, get get our hands dirty on this so <clears throat> uh just use javascript so that way it automatically identifies though i've not saved it file so let's say let connects uh is let's say i'm just gonna increase the font size so that it's much more better for everyone and readability in the video also so i say require connects and this looks uh need a particular configuration option for that also so we are going to give client ms sql and then we would say connection so the connection information so the connection information is also a, a kind of a sub object that we pass within this uh, connects uh, npm package and we are going to pass in the server information which we can use a local host or the name of your pc uh, the username uh, is going to be i'm just going to use sa uh, though it is not a recommended practice in the production environment you must use certain other ways of connecting it or connecting it through the configuration files or environment variables or anything and uh, the password i've kept it as one two three just for simplicity purpose and then i'm also going to specify the database to whom i'm going to connect uh, which is lovely as already i've explained in the video like the lovely database is there and we have a table named as department so that's all about your <clears throat> connection information so this connects uh, is a local variable that 
actually gives a reference to the connects library through the npm package we use the client for my uh, uh, ms sql to connect onto that and we pass on the relevant connects information so once this reference has been received we can use this variable to actually uh, start using and running those commands so i can just simply say select star then i can say from dpt that's my table and it primarily returns me a promise uh, which i can use to then log in my results or anything and because it is gonna be multiple departments so i'll be using that and uh, i can use uh, star for all the columns or I can use uh, single columns like whatever columns I want that that can also be done through this so <clears throat> once the then promise is returned I can use because I know there are four departments I can use this um, return from uh, the promise return and use this to actually like loop through all the departments uh, within that particular uh, uh, result that the query has given us back so what we can do is we can simply say departments dot for each and we can say function let's say dpt and then finally we can say console.log and print each of the department so that's one of the things which we are returning over here and then what we are gonna do in this case is this is where the then promises uh, finish off and then in case we have uh, another one that's the catch one so we can have a catch block and then it technically returns us an error and we can also display this error particularly in case some error is there you can just display it or catch it or whatever you want to take an action you can take that action and uh, finally we can also have a finally block over here uh, which would uh, actually be used uh, to kind of uh, <coughs> close the uh, uh, connects uh, variable instance so that the uh, connection pool is closed so you can just say connect start destroy and that would technically destroy that mm -hmm. so this whole connects uh, let's save this uh, first also so let's say i'm gonna save it through connects demo right so save it so it it kinds of uh, uh, does everything for us so you have a connects which is a variable that has been instantiated with all the required information for that npm package and we are connecting it to localhost user is sa password is this database is this and then we fire a query select star from department where we fire then it gives us the then promise and the then promise technically returns uh, what you call as all the departments out here and uh, then for each it returns us all the uh, department and uh, then we can loop through all those departments through the help of uh, a for each loop uh, where we are repeat where we are looping through every department and all the department information is retrieved so let's just try to use this we named it as a connects demo and uh, let's see if we can go through this and we can actually uh, use uh, the uh, console.log to fetch and retrieve those results so let's say we'll just try to see uh, node we just increase the font size so node.js and we say connects demo.js so there is an error let's go back and check it out department dot for each so you don't need this uh, an arrow bracket because we are already using a callback let's go back and check it out run this again so if we try to run this it would actually try to connect to the sql server and then finally get the information that is needed hopefully it should return back all the information it took a while little to connect on to the sql server and then fetch the information and you can see all the departments which are there 
uh, all the four rows they are being returned uh, back to us and every particular row is returned in the form of an object where the column names act as a key and then the row values are acting as the values for every individual column which is acting as a key in this particular object so if we just try to uh, let's say use this let's say a console over here uh, in the then where you are actually going to return all the departments so we say test and we try to print the departments over here this would actually uh, print all the departments which were returned by this query and because there are multiple departments it would be form uh, in the form of an array so if you run this one more time so this would actually print a test you see it is in the form of an array of objects because there are multiple departments and uh, the array contains every single row which is represented in the form of a, uh, a column uh, and the the column is represented as a key and then of course you have the values also uh, let's change this little bit and if we want to change this from and we want to put up a where condition where department number let's say is 10 we just want to fire out one particular uh, department we want to fire out a where condition within the query it's just like select star from department where department number is 10. now because we are limiting it to one particular uh, department number only so we would be getting only one row of course it would still be in the form of an array and let's see how it results back so if we now return this node j connects demo.js yes so we can see the test returns only one row but still in the form of an array remember that whenever you fire any query to any database not with the sql server rather any kind of a database with the connects to like mysql or postgres or anything you would be actually returning all the rows in the form of an array whether it is returned one row or multiple rows are returned and then finally you can loop through those all those uh, arrays and then with the use of a for each loop or other loop and then finally display it so yep that's all about connecting the connects uh, with sql server in the node.js environment hopefully this video is going to be helpful to you guys uh, you can uh, use this video to uh, start your experience start connecting out uh, your node.js application to the mysql uh, to the sql server microsoft sql server uh, installation and start playing with it uh, you can also fire out insert delete or other queries just like a select query uh, hopefully in the next other videos i'll be able to demonstrate those concepts also have a great one uh, guys uh, see you in the another video thank you